Hi, we get a lot of visitors to Keymark's website from people looking for information on cold form steel framing. And a lot of them ask, what are back-to-back -back C trusses? So in this week's blog, we're going to try and answer this question. So back-to-back -back C trusses are made from C-shaped cold form steel members, where the web part of the C-shape is in a back-to-back -back configuration for the truss cords and webs, and they are screwed from the web side. This is a good option. It has many advantages and disadvantages. So the advantages of back-to-back -back C trusses are they are in a standard C shape. This is material that can be bought from standard suppliers, or you can roll form it yourself if you have a C-shape roll former. Also, back-to-back -back C trusses only need screwed from one side, so you don't have to flip the truss and screw it from both sides. They're pretty strong, and they can handle typical spans and loads. Now, some of the disadvantages are, because they're in the back-to-back -back C configuration, the width of the truss is doubled to about three and a quarter inch. Also, because they are three and a quarter inch wide, it is kind of a challenge for shipping and handling. The girders can require more numerous plies and can be a challenge for truss-to-truss -truss connections. Back-to-back -back C trusses are a great option for many different types of designs uh, because they handle good spans and they go together pretty easy. In terms of shipping, you might have to look at shipping them vertically because of the way the webs and cords are when you stack them uh, horizontally, they tend to get caught up on each other. Handling, they can be a challenge in terms of handling and installation, uh, so you might have to over-design them a little bit for shipping and handling. And again, in the connections, so whenever you have a truss-to-truss -truss connection, if you're connecting to that open side of the web, you might have to cap it like these girders are to get a good connection. So in terms of looking at design, here I've got a 24-foot truss on a 612 pitch with pretty standard loading, 20, 10, and 10, and 85 mile an hour wind. And if we go ahead and design this truss, we'll see that a truss about this span will all, all the members will be three and a half inches, 20 gauge. So that is about as good as you can get in terms of using three and a half inch, 20 gauge material. After about 24 feet or higher loading, you're gonna get into some heavier gauges. So that's what back-to-back -back C trusses are in a nutshell, and they're a pretty good option.